Good morning, Sunday School class. As I was reviewing my Sunday School lesson this morning for July 25th, I realized that I needed to make a correction, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, what I was speaking of was uh, the Ark of the Covenant. And we know that David had moved the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem where he had prepared a special tent for it, but I had been trying to explain why the uh, Ark of the Covenant was in a different place from the tabernacle and the bronze altar. Uh, it had first been uh, at Shiloh, uh, from uh, with the high priest of uh, Eli and at the battle whenever his two sons removed the Ark of the Covenant and took it with them into battle uh, against the, the Philistines uh, in that last battle there of Eli. The two son the Israel lost, the two sons of Eli were killed. Uh, Eli also died whenever he found that news and so the Ark of the Covenant was in the possession of the Philistines. They kept that and they relocated it into five towns but each of the five towns would break out into boils and into some sort of plague. Uh, they decided to remove uh, the Ark of the Covenant from there to return it and they put the Ark of the Covenant on a wagon that was led by nursing cow. Uh, and the, uh, it's related that the uh, animal went straight without any um, change at all to this area and that was Kareth uh, Kareth Jerem, uh, and the, whenever it arrived there, uh, it was kept in that area, in that location, for 60 years. But the tabernacle and the bronze altar that we find, at some point, they were moved from Shiloh, and they were placed in Gibeon. And we know that whenever we hear of uh, some, some areas with Saul, where he went to Gibeon to worship, and also King Solomon, whenever he sacrificed that large number of animals, um, he made a trip to Gibeon, uh, and he did that so that he was able to utilize the proper instrument, and that was the bronze altar to make those sacrifices. When David decided to bring the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem, uh, he did so uh, uh, by going to Kirath Jerem, but he had he had inappropriately tried to transfer it. And in that uh, incident, uh, the man Uzzah, who had tried to steady that whenever he thought it was going to fall, uh, was killed. Uh, so David leaves the Ark of the Covenant with another family, and that is Obed-Edom. He leaves it in that area. It stays in Obed-Edom for three months. David returns home. He researches this, and he finds that what he should have done was have the Levites transfer for the Ark of the Covenant. And so he brings them, he does it appropriately, and he returns the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem to the tent that he has made for it. And uh, he has at some point where he wants to build a palace, uh, a temple of God, and he is instructed from God by his prophet Gad that it will not be him, but it will be Solomon. But from this you can see why a temple was an absolute necessity. Uh, these these important elements of worship in two different locations. But you will uh, understand that, and I hope that this has been some help to you. Thanks so much.